Welcome back to this two-part series. For the last one, I reviewed the Munchkin Gentle Transition Cups. But in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review and our thoughts on the Munchkin 360 Miracle Cup. Welcome back to this two-part series of my review on the Munchkin Sippy Cup. If you saw the last one, I reviewed the Munchkin Gentle Transition Cup. Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about the Miracle 360 Training Cup. If you wanna see the last one, I'll leave the link at the top of the screen here. If it's your first time here, then my name is Grace, and I am a mum to a 15-month-old little boy. I'm also currently pregnant with baby number two. So if you like content all about motherhood, I'd love it if you would consider hitting the subscribe button for more content like this. You've probably clicked on this video if you are looking to move your baby on from a bottle to a sippy cup. If you want to hear our thoughts on these products, please stay tuned. So the idea of the Miracle 360 training cup is to basically get your baby used to drinking from an, like a regular cup um, because they can drink from basically the, the whole idea is the 360 so they can drink from any angle of this cup as if you like when you normally drink. The miracle part of it is that it doesn't leak and spill all over them. So it's a really, really clever product actually and we have been really enjoying using these with Elliot. He's been using these for a couple of months now. Like I say, he started off on the uh, gentle transition cups and now he's moved on, now that he's like 15 months old, um, he has moved on to this one. And again, I like the fact that these come in unisex colours. Um, you've got, we've got this green one here, and then we've also got a blue one. I'm in a bigger size as well. These are basically 200 mils, um, which I think is six ounces of liquid fluid. So these are the smaller ones, and then the bigger ones are about 400 mil. And the bigger ones, they come with like this, even though I've got this on this cup. But the smaller ones come with these cup handles. For us, with Elliot, because he's not been using sippy cups for that long, he's finding it easier with the handles still. And um, so we really like that. The ease, they're sort of designed very nicely for babies to get used to drinking from a sippy cup. They're not quite ready to not have the handles, if that makes sense. So yeah, like I say, they can drink anywhere from the top of the cup and it doesn't spill out on them it's really really clever i'm not really sure how it works um, but that is the miracle concept of these products and it's just been really good at teaching elliot to drink from a cup properly that's the whole idea behind these products is to get your baby from a sippy cup to like a proper cup and you can literally when it's got liquid in tip it upside down The liquid doesn't come up so it's really brilliant at teaching baby to drink properly without making lots of mess so it's designed with kids and parents in mind and um, which i think is obviously really important it's been getting on so well with all of these munchkin cups using these ones predominantly now because we've moved on from the gentle transition one just been really good at moving on from the sort of sippy cup bit with the teat Obviously this bit hasn't got a teat and it's also teaching him to drink properly from a cup, like eventually as, as he gets better and better. And um, like I say, he does prefer it when it's got the handles on it at the moment. He is still quite young and I think it looks cute when they've got the like little handles. It does come without handles too. Okay, so a really important thing that I thought to mention as part of this video is how to clean these products. Um, because it was actually my mum that pointed it out to me. She's like, how do you clean it? Because this bit here you want to get in in and clean it properly and um, again these are not recommended for sterilizers so the best way to clean these is in hot soapy water as hot as you can stand it because the hotter the water is the more it's going to kill off the bacteria and germs and stuff like that clean cloth always daily have a clean cloth and tea towels can use a bottle brush if you like as well but i find that the cloth is best um, for these sort of cups anyway so there are four parts to the cup there's the obviously there's the cup part itself there's the silicone valve which is a bit with the heart on the locking ring which is the white plasticky part and then there's also a plastic sealing ring at the bottom of the locking valve which is the white plastic bit so all of these parts come apart so you need to wash all of those bits i'll show you the little diagram that comes with the instructions with these you take all of that apart and you wash it in hot soapy water and 
then it's good to go. So it's really sanitary still. Um, it's not like there's this bit of the cup that you can't take away to wash, really easy to wash. So yeah, it's not recommended for sterilizers or boiling or anything like that, but we just use really hot soapy water each day. Keep it clean because I don't know if you've ever like smelt cups that haven't been washed, they're a bit gross. And obviously you wanna make sure it's nice and hy as hygienic and sanitary as possible for your baby. They're very easy to use. You do have to just like the first time you take the, the plastic bit off, um, you do think, oh, I'm gonna break it, but you do just sort of have to be a little bit firm with it. Um, and as you can see, I think this is the clever part of it that stops the leaking, I think. Yeah, all in all, these have been amazing products at helping Elliot go from a bottle to a sippy cup. And now the 360 Miracle Cup is helping teach Elliot to drink properly from a cup without nasty spills all over the place, without it all going all down him. And we've been really, really impressed with the whole range from Munchkin. So I think when he is looking like he's confidently drinking from these we will move on to some of their other products eventually so if you want to hear any more reviews if i buy any more in the future let me know in the comments section down below where to buy these from i've seen these loads they're very easily accessible actually they're in supermarkets such as sainsbury's i've also seen these in boots and of course you can pick them up on amazon so i'll leave a link for the amazon shop down below for munchkin if you are struggling with your baby with sippy cups or they're not getting on very well with any, definitely check this range out. They've been like game changer for us, seriously. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep hold of all of these for our next baby. Um, and I like the fact they do unisex colors. It's not just pink and blue. Have you tried any of the Munchkin sippy cups or bottles? I would also love to know your thoughts if you've tried them. These hands down have been the best sippy cups that we have tried for Elliot. There's no leaks. He's also, he's just come on leaps and bounds like with his ability to drink, which is obviously very important. Now I've stopped breastfeeding. Um, I want him to be able to drink fluids from cups. And um, these are just amazing. I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if you would consider hitting subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.